So now we're going to talk about absolute value inequalities where we're actually dealing with the absolute value being less than the number. Okay, so in this example we're going to look at is the absolute value of x is less than 4. So just using some logic, let's actually think of some numbers where this works. So if we think of a positive number, anything less than 4, say, you know, x is equal to 2. Absolute value of 2 is less than 4, that would work. What if we think about negative numbers? Remember, the absolute value is going to make this negative number positive. So if we say, you know, x is equal to negative 3, the absolute value of that turns it positive. 3 is less than 4. This will work. So whenever we're dealing with absolute values less than, the, the way I like to remember this is we actually have to make this into two equations. One being x is less than 4. And the other one is x is greater than negative 4. Again, the opposite sign and the opposite number. The difference with these from when the absolute value is greater than is this now turns into a intersection. This turns into an and statement. And or intersection. If I remember that is absolute value is less than than is similar to than. You could change it to than. So less than, less than, and, and statement. So a little, a little weird way I remember it, whatever works for you. Okay, so we now have this in a intersection form. Whenever I saw these out, I do a little number line. We have x is less than 4. We have 4 and going down. x is greater than negative 4. So open circle at negative 4 and going up. And we're looking for the intersection. We're looking for where both of these exist. On either extreme, we just have one set. In the middle is where they both exist. So the intersection is actually right in the middle. So we're dealing from negative 4 to 4. Intersections where they both exist at these endpoints, we're always missing one. So we're dealing from negative 4 to 4, soft brackets. So we turned our absolute value less than statement into a intersection statement, plotted on a number line to find your answer.